Hi, welcome back. It's time to announce the theme for April in the Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge. I co-host that with Christy Cook from Tea Dottles. And before we go into the theme for April, I'd like to announce the winners for the March uh, kits. There were two kits. They were identical kits. One would be coming from Christy's house and one would be coming from mine. She picked her winner and she came, she told me that it was Ravini. Ravini won for her entry and it was a uh, cute little jar cozies. They were very, very cute. So if you haven't seen the entries from March, jump on over to the Yarn Scrappy the Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge Facebook page, which it'll be linked down below, and go and see everybody's entries that have been going on this year. We've done it for three months. It's been a wonderful challenge. You use your, your scrap yarns and you follow a theme that we get to choose every other month, and it's my month for April. And I also picked a winner this month. It was, you, we were going to do it where we picked the theme and then we f follow through and and give the winner the prize we you know but um i ended up saying i would give one too because i had the same exact kit and i thought oh i'll just give one so the winner from my page or from me this month for march was um angelia whitson and she had a basket that she made it was it's really nice so go on over there and check out the winner's page, uh, the winner's photographs, and um, we'll get on with uh, the announcement for April. Grab a cup. I'm using my It's Been a Long Day cup. As you can see, it has been a long day. I'm. This is probably about the fourth time I've tried to video this videotape today. Um, one of them, I got into a coffin fit. I don't know. <laughs> Just deleted it mm-hmm but it's nice um I have um every time I buy a bag of flavored coffee when it gets down to the very bottom I dump it into a container so I have a container in the corner that has all the different flavors <laughs> just and when it's one of those days I shake it up and I make a cup from those different flavors so there's all kinds of stuff going on <laughs> today yeah but the girls that watch me regularly know that that's how I roll okay so I have a couple of suggestions I brought out here today to go along with the theme the theme for April are you ready okay what it what does the spring or April mean to me well, I'll tell you what it means to me. It means babies. It means the baby horses are going to be born. And we have one that's pregnant, and she's going to be due in April. And it's all exciting because she's one of our old mares that we've had for many years. And we separated her now, and she's been out front. And all the neighbors are noticing how heavy she is and that she's going to be having a baby. And they've even commented, we go for a walk and walk down by her all the time to see, you know, if she had her baby yet. So that's what it means to me. But other people have said to me, well, yes, it means new uh it means springtime, the babies come. It also means, um, you know, uh, April means uh, Easter. Um, let's see, what else? Well, uh, maybe showers uh, for weddings, like the, the, the shower time, the um, bridal showers happen, and then in June, the wedding happens, so... Those are the things that that I recall in April. But we can give it a name, and I'm going to. I'm going to name the theme New Beginnings. And so what I'm going to be looking for is something that you can tie in and give me your, um, how you, let, tell me how it relates how your item relates to my theme, which is new beginnings. So I'm, 
you know, thinking about baby items and things like that made out of scraps. And um, if you can come up with something else or if you have an amigurumi that you think relates, then let me know how that relates. Because um, sometimes people will just pop a photo up there and I'll be like, uh, what is that? And I don't know if they think they're on a different page or they know they're in the yarn or the Happy Scrappy Yarn page because um, some of them have said that uh, I didn't realize where I was or they're just posting on every group they're in and so they just like post 15 groups all at once and it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't actually go. I'm like, well, okay. All right, so um, that is the theme, New Beginnings. So I did uh, look up some different things I wanted to suggest. Um, one of the things was I made, I made a washcloth recently and I saw that somebody had an idea where you take a washcloth and you make it like you would normally, okay? And then you fold it like a bandana and then you add on the back, you're going to do it on the corner. So if you fold it, it you're not going to see it all. Or you can make it bigger and then fold it in half. But you're going to fold it and you're going to add a button. Say maybe um, one of these handmade wooden buttons. You're going to add a button in the corner. And then they can take this, put it on the baby, button it. And they have a bandana bib. And these are made out of cotton. So they are very absorbent for when the babies are drooling. And then after, like, say maybe you're feeding them, you know, their dinner. And then after you take it off, you can actually use it for a washcloth directly after and then throw it in the washer. So that is what you can do with a regular washcloth and turn it into a bib. So that's an idea for scraps. And then, um, for a one ball, uh, one ball, uh, challenge using these, they, they sell these balls of different colors that have a head on them. I think they're Lion Brand. Well, some of them are. I've seen them in Michael's on the side display and they come with the same color matching the head and this is just the head so it it comes with a little a little piece of ribbon that you tie it on with and and then you can tie it underneath and then you can actually take it off when you want to wash it you can untie it this one I just tied right on because it I don't know I think it was one of the first ones I did but, and yeah, I, I think it was because you can do these and add things on the edges like a teething ring. And you can do these in scraps too. You just change color. It's just a granny stitch square. And then this is sewed on the, but they also make hats out of these uh, things. But our theme is, is new beginnings. So I... I'm showing you one of these made up and that's a one ball they sell them um, in Hershner's magazine and a couple other places but the idea for this lovey also can be done in um, Z's uh, idea where you take and you buy an animal course my appropriate horsey I'm using today but you buy an animal like this and then you take a hair tie and this hair tie is going to be around his neck in the in the after you finish but what you do is you you crochet around the hair tie and then you start your square with your granny stitches and you make that same square and when you're done you flip that over the animals head and you have lovey and I will link that 
idea down below. It's from uh, Zelda NRJ3, and she actually has a tutorial for that. And that's a really cute idea. I, I do those, but I also add the um, teething ring. And then on the other side of the lovey, which would be like one side would have, in the middle you'd have the head. On one side, or you could put the head on the end. On one side you'd have the teething ring. On the other side you would have a button closure. I've done them many times. I sew out and back and make a button hole or use the hole for your buttonhole. And then you put a nuki or a pacifier on there and you button it on so that you can't, you know, the it's not falling every time. It's attached to the lovey. So the lovey ends up being a multi-use uh, item. It's, it's really great. And what I do is I make these up ahead of time and I throw them in my inventory bin. And then when somebody comes home from work and says so and so it works wife had a baby and I'll be like oh well give them a gift and I grab one of these and a, a pair of booties and a card and I send it in and it's always accepted like wow you made that <laughs> and it's like yeah well you know <laughs> but everyone always says I don't make that stuff because I don't know anybody who's having a baby that's why I do it because when you find out that somebody's having a baby, it's already too late. They had it. And so then you can just go into your inventory, grab your little gift, and send wrap it up and send it on its way. All right, so let's see. I have a third item. And this one, I just finished this one yesterday. And what this is, is a one ball wonder. I used a roll or a skein of Red Heart MOR, and it is 100% polyester, so it's really, really soft for baby. And I made a sunsuit with one skein. And here it is. And all it is is a pullover pull up I mean and it the buttons are little hippos and they really do work so that's all it is is one skein and there are several patterns of these available on uh, Pinterest and everywhere and I make them all the time um, every year but this one happens to be a pattern that I found in this month's crochet magazine so if you got that crochet magazine it's in there however it does have a mistake in um, row number eight of the front which will be the second section and if you do run into that mistake when you're making it, please send me a message and we'll get you through that. Because it is a, I cannot believe that that mistake was not caught by the tech editors and stuff. But it, it, it was not. It's, it's, <laughs> it was very, very confusing to me. Anyway, so that is a great idea because then again any showers that come up in the next couple months you would have an item and of course I'm gonna make more of those so okay on with what do you win well first of all some of you don't know that when you are entering the happy scrappy yarn challenge you're not entering it on Christie's or crochet creations page you're entering it on its own page because we're co-hosting this challenge it has its own page and you just put it right in the feed right in the actual body post that way she can find it and I can find it and everyone can see it some people are putting it as comments and that is normal for me to have posts for you to comment and I know it's confusing 
but that's why we have separate videos for this challenge because it's a co-hosting challenge and it's a whole year long so um just go ahead over onto that page and put your post right in the main body of the group okay and then what are we winning well i went ahead and i dug out a beautiful kit for this beautiful baby blanket this one is a blue and white you get this pattern it's a mary maxim kit and it is um crochet and the yarn is called it's a bulky five and it's called mary maxim baby cuddles yarn and you're gonna get two of these big skeins and they're all wrapped up so this one is open but i didn't i didn't open it because this is the first time i've opened the bag let's see mary maxim baby cuddles they are yeah, i said it was five bulky it's machine washable in warm tumble dry and low and the color is a real dark blue with cream it's called billowy blue and there's 800 yards in one of these skeins it is 43 percent cotton 43 percent acrylic and 14 percent nylon and it has 300 grams in this skein so you get two of those to make your afghan or your baby blanket so if you didn't want to make a baby blanket you can make anything else with them you can make a regular blanket or pillows or whatever you wanted so the winner will get that kit that's all that comes is those two skeins and the pattern to make it so i'm glad that you joined me today and i hope that everybody is enjoying the happy scrappy yarn challenge i know i am anything fun to do with christy cook and to get her you know on the on the internet and and doing something with you is a riot she is something i just love her so uh i'm gonna go and i hope everybody is is um staying safe I'm looking forward to your post for April and your ideas of what new beginnings means to you. Bye now.